Hello all and welcome back to our channel. Okay, so in this video, uh, we will be discussing about use of lot or serial numbers in order 14 point of sale. So basically lots correspond to certain number of products you receive and store all together in one single pack. And they can be used uh, for batch production of uh, products. Whereas serial numbers are identification numbers given to one product in particular and allows us to track the history of item from reception to delivery and after sales. So these uh, lots or serial numbers can be banished in inventory, purchase, sales, and also in point of sale. Uh, that is, we can create lots of serials or we can sell products as lots and serials inside point of sale. So when you open this, you can see our uh, point of sales, shops and bars. So after enabling lots and serial numbers in inventory, you can manage them. So uh, let's start a new session. Let's open our bar. Okay, so first let's open a product and set lots of serial numbers. So when you, after enabling lots of serial numbers in settings, you can set them inside your product. Okay, suppose I'm opening cabinet with doors. And here you can find our inventory tab. So under inventory tab, we have an option to add traceability for the product. So here we can add no tracking or it can be tracked by lots or unique serial numbers. So first let's check the case of uh, tracking by lots. So here a warning is shown. You have products in stock that have no lots as serial number. You can assign lots numbers by doing inventory adjustment. That is already we have a stock for this product, which is uh, 33 on hand with no lots and sequence. And we, by using inventory adjustment, we can create lots of serial numbers or else we can create from here by um, setting the location and creating lots and serial numbers and assigning quantity. So I'm not doing that. Um, let's open a new session. Okay, let's create a new point of C. And I'm not marking it as bar. Okay, I'm adding some basic details. And after that, save this. And let's start a new session. Okay, so let's search for our product cabinet with doors. So when you click on this, you can see a pop up window uh, that is asking for. A uh, lot number. So as we have uh, given tracking uh, for that product using lot number, you have to provide a lot number. So I'm adding lot. Then if you click OK, you can see the lot number. Uh, you can see that product added with one quantity. And from here, you can change the quantity. So for five quantity, we have added lot number. And again, if you click on this product, you can again uh, see a lot uh, pop up window in order to enter the lot number. And if you click OK, you can see it is added. 
then you can make payment and validate it. So you can see the bill, uh, what it is with five quantities. You can see the 63, so per quantity you can see it is 12. And you can create new order. Then now let's close this uh, session. And then for our bar, our shop, here when you close, and here we have our orders. And here when you click on this, you can see that order. And you can see for cabinet doors, uh, lot number given assigned can be seen here. So for lot four, five, six, seven, you can see five quantities. So for five quantities of product, we have given this lot. And for one quantity, we have given another lot. And after closing the session, that is uh, when you go to the product, you can see the lot is created and the product is removed from, us, from the stock. So for that, first we have to close the session because we have set the inventory management that is here in configuration settings. You can see a new feature in Odo 14. Below you can see that is inventory management. Update quantities in stock at session closing or in real time. Uh, so this is advised. Uh, this option is advised that is after closing session. Only after closing session uh, stock must be updated. So here when you close the session. Here you can see picking. So the product is transferred uh, from stock. And you can see lot. So now when you check the inventory, here we have our product moves. And when you unfold our cabinet with doors, you can see five quantities mode uh, that is here you can see five quantities moved from stock to partner location customers location and another one quantity moved from uh, stock to partner location and here you can see the lot number and also the quantity is updated that is on hand is changed now let's come back to a point of sale okay now let's create a new product and change the tracking that is add tracking by unique serial number so let's create a new product And then add inventory uh, tracking by unique serial number. And after that, enable it. It is already everything yours. Okay, then save this product and let's open our session. Start a new session in shop and let's deliver this product. Let's create an order for this product. So you can see the product here. And when you click on this, you'll be able to see a pop-up window asking for the lot of serial number. So as we have given tracking by serial number, we should provide serial number. So let's add serial. Uh, and then when you click enter, you can see another uh, field, a text area asking for serial number. And, can give the number. and when you click OK, you can see two quantities is added to the order line. And again, if you click, when you click, you can see uh, again asking for serial number. Because for each quantity, we have to give unique separate serial number. 
and then if you try to change this that is try to change by clicking five you can see there is a red color shown here this is because for two quantities we have been given serial number so from here you can supply the serial number and if you uh having like if you just sorry that is if you just give serial number for three quantities and just uh, update the quantity to five and let's make the payment after that when you close the session and try to validate the entries and close session so after closing here you can see in picking it shows in red color this is because when you open this and open the transfer you can see that for two quantities there is no serial number so these products these quantities cannot be delivered and here you can see check availability this is because for two quantities it, it is in waiting that is it cannot be moved from uh, that is it cannot be moved from stock because we haven't provided the serial number so after providing serial number for them only we can deliver that and here if you edit you can add a serial number from here and when you click here from here you can provide serial number and when you save this and check validity and validate so the movement is that is transfer is done and when you click on traceability you can see all those quantities transfer from stock to customers and here we have our orders so you can see the orders so when you open this you can see uh, the serial numbers for three quantities given So that's how we uh, make use of lots of seal numbers and that is assign lots of seal numbers for products while making a sale order while selling a product in a retail shop. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any order implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to order at cyprocess.com.